What's happening guys and welcome back to yet another great video on our channel. The world of late night TV is one that has been a true part of our television lives for decades. From the late Johnny Carson to David Letterman to now with Jimmy Fallon, James Corden and so on, these hosts have carried a torch that seeks to entertain those who are up late at night. Another man who has been a part of this legacy is Conan O'Brien who has had multiple late night shows over the years. But it is with a painful heart to report that Conan O'Brien officially quits after 28 years of his late night show. Number 5. His debut in Late Night. Hey, how you doing, Mr. O'Brien? Big night tonight, huh? Oh, yeah. A lot of pressure. So they say. My mother was just like, well, you're going to finish. You're gonna, um, she was just wrap it in cellophane, and you just picked up where you left off for breakfast. Conan O'Brien didn't intend to start out late night TV. Rather, he was a writer and comedian. <laughs> he was on Saturday Night Live for a time and then got a rare opportunity to go and write for The Simpsons. This was the most wanted writing job in Hollywood at the time. He wrote some of the series' most acclaimed episodes, for example, March vs. the Monorail and Homer Goes to College. But eventually, he was picked to do his own late night show called The Late Show with Conan O'Brien. If you think it was a success right away, then you'd be mistaken. In fact, there were rumors for a while that the show would be cancelled and O'Brien would be replaced with another host. However, as time went on and people got used to O'Brien's style of comedy, the ratings started to grow. His audience, largely young males, a coveted demographic, grew steadily and the show began to be the best competitor in the world in ratings. The show continued to do so for about 15 seasons. The show and O'Brien himself also got nominated for several <laughs> awards and won a number of them as well. He was destined to move up in the late night world. Number 4. Feud with Jay Leno Conan O'Brien has joked about the pending late night shuffle here at NBC, but last night he really took the gloves off. True. There's no such thing as an audience of 30 million people. It's crazy. When it came to late night TV show hosts, two of the most prominent in the current era were Jay Leno and David Letterman. They were both protégés of the one and only Johnny Carson, and when he left, they began a long rivalry over who was the real king of late night shows. Letterman was legendary over on CBS, while Leno was the champion of NBC in the late night hour. Leno's successor, Conan O'Brien, was a hit just like him. In 2000, Conan's contract was to end and he was already being sought out by other networks but CNBC <laughs> knowing his ratings and appeal. NBC wanted to keep him there so they gave him an extension and said that by 2010 Lena would step down and Brian would get to host the Tonight Show. Sounds pretty fair doesn't it? The problem at first was that they didn't let Jay Leno know what was going on until 2004. When 2009 arrived, the time had come for the passing of the baton to Brian, but Leno wasn't interested in retirement. The solution was giving Leno his own show in the primetime hour. It was everything he did on The Tonight Show with just a different time slot. Conan was then put late at night. All was well until Conan's numbers started pouring in and they weren't that great. Side by side, Leno's show was also doing pretty terribly and this made NBC very nervous. The solution this time around was putting Leno back on his time slot of 11.35 p.m. while Conan would go at 12.05 a.m. The two had basically renegotiated their contracts. Leno was okay with it because it kept his glory, but for Conan and his people, it was infuriating. They didn't get to do what they were promised before. NBC thought of a quick solution to get rid of the problem, and this was paying $45 million to Conan to leave the network and not say a bad word about them. He took the money, gave back the show to Jay Leno, and waited for seven months until TBS allowed them to do a show on their network. It was a big hit, and the show is still on. Number 3. Conan O'Brien When Conan got to TBS, he took the world by storm in so many ways. 
He was never afraid to go big or take his show to places other networks won't dream of doing, like Comic-Con, a yearly event that got huge ratings, and he saw there really wasn't the need of giving a full hour of content. He was more than willing to cut it down to 30 minutes. What Conan presented, fans happily watched for over 11 seasons by then, through highs, lows, and pandemics. He was there when Trump won the presidency, and the world didn't know how to react, but Conan was there, and he made them laugh. Number two, the end of this era. It's been out there for a while now, but we're making it official. Uh, we are winding down our TBS show. Very recently, Conan announced that his final show on TBS would air on June 24th, which is just around the corner. The news had been in the air for a while until Conan confirmed the news a little while ago. Warner Media had announced that O'Brien had inked a deal to take his talents to stream and produce a weekly variety show for HBO Max. He will also continue making Conan Without Borders special for TBS, as well as the podcast Conan O'Brien Needs a Friend. He said the people at Turner had absolutely loved him for over 11 years and he was grateful for the time being. In the episode, he also added that the final weeks of the show would feature special guests, take a fun look back at his tenure, and end with an hour-long finale episode. Number one, reactions and legacy. Tim, go ahead. I was just going to wrap it up. It's a lot of pressure. This is our last interview on this particular Ooh. show. Many fans and celebrities have been showing their support for the decision. When the final weekend of the show comes, you can surely expect many more to shower Conan with their love and adoration as a late night host who was never afraid to do things his way. And in his way, this is his legacy. He went from writer and comedian to late night host, almost got fired, made his show work, and became beloved. He went through adversity with the Jay Leno situation and yet came out on top in the long run by getting his own show on the network that trusted him and believed in him. We look forward to seeing him continue with the same zeal and determination with the new network as well. So now you realize that after watching this video, Conan O'Brien isn't necessarily retiring his shtick, just retiring from the late night slot. But you have to admit, we did get you going with the title of this video. So do let us know some of your favorite highlights of the late night show with Conan O'Brien in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video and wish to catch up on more content like this going forward, then make sure to like this video and also ensure that you're subscribed to our channel and have that bell icon pressed. And as always, I'll catch you guys later in another video. Bye now.